All right. Hello again, and welcome back to another episode of Making Gold in World of Warcraft. I'm your host, Lesoth of the Brave, and today we're going to be taking the pacifista panda approach to making gold, and we're going to be doing some gathering with herbalism in Ardenweald. Uh, for this farm, I installed a couple of new add-ons that I'm actually really liking a lot. I'm using GatherMate 2 and Farm Hub, um, and it gives you a very nice visual on your minimap of where the different nodes are for farming. And as you can see from looking at this map of Ardenweald, um, most of the Vigil's torch is in Glitterfall Basin and Heartwood Grove. You you have a bunch of Vigil's torch over here as well, but it's got a lot more hills and weird roads and a bunch of enemies that just make it a little bit harder. So you get like 50% of the Vigil's Torch in Ardenweald by just doing this route. We're going to run around right around here. I'll throw up a graphic there with the route. And we're just going to get the Vigil's Torch, the Death Blossom, any of the herbs that we see. And we're going to use this really cool add-on for it. So, let's get into the video. We're going to farm for an hour. Okay, so we are done farming for our hour here, and we got a great haul. I did die about four times, um, so I had a little bit of wasted time. So if you are better at not falling off things than I am and dying, then you will do even better than I did here. But even so, I still made a really good haul. I got 123 Vigil's Torch. I got 153, or 150 Death Blossoms. And I was able to leech some skinning. I was able to get 24 desolate leathers and four callus hides and 26 nightshade. So, what does this come down to in gold value? It is gonna vary a little bit from between the servers. Mine is a high pop server. This one is area 52. Um, so my stuff here is worth about 20,000 altogether. Um, everything pooled. Um, but you don't necessarily want to leave these all as raw materials. If you have a full level alchemist or inscriptionist, you can either mill these down and turn them into inks if you're inscription and sell those, and you can make uh, a good bit more than the 20,000. Or if you are an alchemist, um, you can use the Death Blossom to make the Shadow Core oils that all of the raid groups are buying, all the dungeon people are buying because um, they want that extra damage to buff their numbers, help them kill bosses easier. And it's just the way to go if you want progression in the raids and the dungeons. Um, and if you have the Vigil's Torch and the other special herbs from the expansion, the Nightshade, the Vigil's Torch, Widow Bloom, Morrow Root, you combine those into the Potions of Spectral Power, or Flasks of Spectral Power, those are selling for anywhere between two, three thousand gold per flask. Sometimes, so you can you can put those together, sell them as flasks after you level up alchemy, of course, and you can make a killing in gold that way. And those things sell instantly. I've been I've already sold um, twenty or thirty flasks just from leveling up alchemy. So I already sold the stuff that I I made when I was leveling it up, and. If you save your materials here from doing this, say you farm an hour in Ardenweald, then you do an hour in Maldraxxus, Bastion, Revendreth, you got four hours, you might be able to make, it takes about four of each. So I could make 30 potions of spectral power. That'd be 90,000 gold for four hours worth of work. Or you could just have those potions on hand for yourself. But either way, this is a great way to make gold, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be out there farming and finding some new ways to make gold for us, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.